Good morning from Tokyo, guys. I'm here for the Tokyo Mobility Show 2023. First time in four years they've had the Mobility Show. Down below, we got amazing vehicles that I just get as eye candy. Uh, lots of high aces. I just saw Lexus LS down there. Lots of K vehicles as well. Just And I saw a nice Porsche. Oh, there's an Alphard. Sorry, you guys. You missed the Alphard as I spun the camera around. You know, last week we had the teaser for the Camry, which... The Camry's been killed in Japan, so I'm not going to be able to give you guys like a sneak peek ahead of time. You're going to have to wait for November, no, uh, LA Auto Show, 99% sure that's when Toyota's going to reveal the new 2025. Oh God, I always forget, are we on the 9th generation, 10th, 10th gen, 9th gen Camry's coming up? Anyways, check this out. Something new is just around the corner, um, and we have this teaser image. Okay, well, we'll get in the image. Let's see what Toyota's saying about it. All-wheel drive, all right, um, what else is a standard all-wheel drive in the lineup? The only vehicle I can think of is maybe the Venza and the Crown, okay? The Crown sedan here in Japan, they call it the Crown Crossover. But they're saying this hybrid electric midsize SUV, okay? So it's another SUV. We've been knowing and anticipating that Toyota uh, announced a new Crown for the United States. Is this the Crown Sport? This hybrid electric midsize SUV goes beyond what's expected. Now this is, I feel like a little teaser here, but I haven't been able to crack it. It says CU, not C, uh, it's the letters, obviously not the words. Letter C, letter U, dot, 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 soon. So there's something here that I just haven't figured out. So I'll see you guys down below on what you think uh, Toyota is teasing with the CU lettering. Now, it could be CUV, right? Crossover utility vehicle. It could mean crown utility vehicle. And look, we have a letter C on the back. The only other vehicle that also has a letter C on the back is the crown. You know, there's a crown lineup of four different crown models. So this is where we're gonna pivot. And yes, we have the Beyond Zero and it's all wheel drive. Interestingly, this is on the bot, but back left. Typically, we see these uh, badges on the back right of Toyota cars. So here is the Crown lineup. We're not going to get this gorgeous rear-wheel drive sedan, which, by the way, I've been seeing some amazing Crown, like true Crowns, old Crowns. Most of these are on the uh, the TNGA F, uh, K platform, F platforms for the trucks, but K is like for all their other like Rav4, Highlander, etc. So these three vehicles, this guy, this guy, this guy are on a new front wheel drive platform, but I've been seeing a ton and have actually ridden a few Crown taxis, rear wheel drive. I've seen a few uh, Crown hybrids here as well. I'm gonna have a short, I'm gonna upload a short on the Crown hybrid uh, in a little bit. I did a walk around, it was just, oh, so, so incredible. Anyways, um, so Crown excitement is at all new level for me now that I'm here in Japan, I'm riding in them, I'm seeing them. Which of these crowns is it going to be? Well, this model right here just got released in Japan. This is the Crown Sports. This is um, a vehicle that looks like it has DNA from the Ferrari Purasange, but if we look at the back of this, these rear taillights are very, very different than the taillights we're seeing on this teaser image. Uh, so it's not the same vehicle, all right? So Crown Sports doesn't mean it can't come to America. It's just that it doesn't look like this Crown is going to be this Crown Sports. So what does that leave us? Because the taillights are different here. Well, that leaves us the, the traditional sedan here, which is not gonna come. It's just doesn't make sense for the United States market. It's more of an Asian market vehicle. And then there's this guy. I like actually the design of this more. I like the lifted wagon. I saw a V90 uh, cross country here in Japan. It's a huge vehicle for here, absolutely. The thing just it goes on forever. So it's kind of that sort of style of vehicle, uh, almost like also like a uh, Subaru Outback. Okay, which we know sells like crazy. It doesn't have any true competitors until this guy. So think of this as like a hybridized Subaru Outback. And I think this is the model that's coming. Why do I think that is? Well, process of elimination. It doesn't have the same taillights as this car. And we know where we're not going to get the sedan. All right, so let's compare the image of the back. Well, we can also go through. We'll, we'll, we'll talk more about details of the estate here in a little bit, which this is what Toyota calls the crown estate here. Um, but let's compare rear taillights to rear taillights. Well, 
The first thing I noticed here on the bottom, the new teaser, is that we have a light bar that goes across, kind of like the Venza. Um, but unlike the, the Venza's rear light bar is actually cut in half by the Toyota logo. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, looks to be the exact same taillight style between these two models. Now, where's a windshield wiper here? It's probably gonna be sitting at the bottom. This is a pre, like a, it's a render, an early render. This model is supposed to come out in 2024 in Japan. Will this model be here in Tokyo at the Tokyo Mobility Show? I would like to think so. I don't see why it wouldn't be here. I, I know that their um, floor plan does say that the crown lineup will be on display. So I'll be able to give you guys a sneak peek, hopefully hands-on um, impressions of the crown and the crown sport as well. Don't know if we'll get the crown sport at this point, even though I've been hyping it to the moon, I thought it was gonna be the crown sport. It looks like it's gonna be the crown estate, which I'm actually super thrilled about. I would rather have the crown estate. The crown sport is cool. Doesn't mean we're not gonna get it. Anyways, don't wanna get off topic. Any other teasers here that we can tell? Well, if we go down here, check out the lines on the back. It's a vertical line on the trunk lid that goes straight down. There's no other, um, I guess, sporty detail. If we look at the Crown Sport, here's the rear of the Crown Sport. It's complete, whoops, let's, let's zoom out of this picture again. It's completely different rear and completely different tail lights. There's no light bar here. And there's this very obvious cut into uh, the rear bumper area, which we don't have here. It's more of a boxy setup uh, on the new this new Crown Estate. So. Uh, there you have it guys. That's what I think it's going to be. I think this is going to be the crown um, in a more usable, more practical wagon style that's going to be like a Subaru Forester hybridized. Um, so I think 40 miles per gallon uh, and 236 horsepower because that's what the crown the, the, the other crown that we have actually has, except this is going to have far more utility. So now we're going to get into what we know about this vehicle since we know uh, the new crown coming for the United States is this guy on the far right. Here's the crown estate type, 4930 in millimeters length, which is obviously longer than the, the sport model. Um, it's 1880 millimeters wide, which is exactly the same width of the sport model. Noticeably taller than the sport model, which makes sense because our market, I think would really benefit from having more uh, functional space on the inside. Um, seating is of course five. Now, are we gonna see a plug-in hybrid of this model? Uh, not at launch, I don't think. I mean, look at the crown that we currently have. Well, here's the thing. This model on the, the Crown Sport is supposed to get a plug-in hybrid as well. Um, obviously it says it right here. So I think it will come eventually. Um, but here's the thing, if it comes, um, it's really, I mean, Lexus RX, rest in peace. Like RX hybrid costs or plug-in hybrid costs 70,000 US dollars for, I mean, I would guess that this would cost 55 to 60. So, I mean, it's still really expensive for a plug-in hybrid in my opinion. Um, but you know, the hybrid model is still going to be effective for our market, you know, 40 miles per gallon. Now, does it, are we going to see the, the hybrid max in this Toyota could do it with the 340 horsepower? I just don't think they will. I think they'll keep it hybrid or plug-in hybrid. Whereas the crown, uh, has hybrid and hybrid max. So three, uh, 235 horsepower to 340 horsepower or so, um, make sure to watch my review on the crown crossover the crown sedan thing that we have already on the market in the united states but this model is going to be far more far more practical um the sport has just launched in japan i already made a video on that so check that out uh, but we're going to look at a landing page so we actually have uh cool information and slides here on the crown estate and look they're marking it towards uh surfers whenever i see surfers uh in toyota or nissan maybe even Honda press information uh, and press images, I immediately think California. So maybe they had, oh, they probably had this in mind for California the entire time. So that's pretty exciting. We're gonna scroll down. Um, here's this bronze color. We get this bronze already on the crown. However, the crown in, Amer in North America, at least for the United States, it only comes with a two-tone paint color, which is not, it, I don't like it. So I like the bronze here already a lot more. Um, we've already seen the images of it in yellow. Toyota has shown that they don't wanna bring yellow to the United States. They'd rather just have more boring colors. So that's, uh, 
and it, it is what it is. Now the headlights here are very Prius-esque. Look at this uh, hammerhead sort of design. Very sleek, very sporty. Even though this is not the sport model, I still think it looks really cool. We have red painted calipers behind the wheels. Don't know if that's gonna make it to production on this uh, wagon. Now, I honestly see this as the second coming of the Camry wagon. I made a video a while back saying how this model, the way it's built, the way it's set up, it's a lifted Camry wagon. Um, and what if they call it, they could call it like the Camry Cross if they wanted to, um, which we have the Corolla Cross in the United States. There's the Yaris Cross here in Japan. I see, I've only seen one new Yaris. I uh, haven't seen a Yaris Cross yet. They're out there. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Uh, David, David Chow and I are going to do a little car, car watching, car, car spotting uh, here in the streets of Japan while stopping by uh, dealerships and stuff. So that's, what, that's what's on the docket today as well as lots of yummy food. Back to the Crown Estate. Okay, so here are more dimensions, um, you know, up to 21 inch wheels. I don't know if we had wheelbase earlier, 2850. I think that's 112.2. Uh, inch wheelbase. I believe that's what it is. I'll correct it if it's not. Now this information is a little outdated because it this model got pushed into the spring of 2024. That's what I'm hearing from Japan. Um, this fall well, just uh, launch now is the Crown Sports here in Japan. Uh, so we will see this model potentially as early as spring of 2024. If you guys want you to get your hands on this model, you want to buy it, um, probably go to your dealership right now, get in line uh, and put your name down because I don't think we're gonna see a whole lot of them, uh, to be honest, allocated. But there are a lot of Crown sedans that we have uh, allocated in the United States, more than I thought. So think of this as a, an elongated, not only Camry, like I said, but also Toyota Benza. Pretty much Lexus quality. Um, on the inside, the materials are very much Lexus quality. It might not be as quiet as a Lexus at higher speeds. You're not, you might not have uh, the fancier head-up display in this model, things like that. But in terms of the technology and design uh, and materials, it's pretty much a Lexus, but for less money. So, heck yes. I'm sure I've been playing this B-roll video for you guys to check that out. Again, here are the rear taillights of it. Uh, and the front headlights of it, which I think it looks really, really clean. We're not gonna get the crown badge. Oh, let's check, it, check out some of the colors here. We will get some two-tone colors. Uh, so white, black, uh, kind of like this dark blue. Of course, this is, I think, that supersonic red. Uh, you also have this bronze color. Um, and okay, so here are the two tones, two-tone white, and it's just the roof and maybe, let's see here, it's the, the roof and A pillars. Um, that get blacked out. All right, so the blue comes in two-tone, the red comes in two-tone, the bronze, and this is different, okay, because we have like a lighter roof. It looks like a silver-colored roof here. Let me know if you guys would rather have a black roof or a lighter-colored roof. Here in Florida, I'd rather have a lighter-colored roof because, well, I'm not here in Florida right now, but where I live in Florida, uh, it would be a little bit more cool. Uh, so the sun's not beating down on it as much. All right, so here's the practicality of the Crown uh, Estate, that this is the model here. So the interior in terms of the dash design, uh, the materials, the buttons, the shifter, it all looks pretty much identical to the Crown that we already have on the market. I don't know if we, I, I don't remember seeing a tan option for our Crown here at side, but you can see they're really focusing on the utility of this. You can fold the seats down Check out the materials flowing from the dash to the door. Looks really nice with that caramel. Um, very Lexus premium, like very premium. So just three interior colors at this point in time, and all of them are pretty dark. That is unfortunate. I would have liked to see more of a, a light tan or like a beige sort of interior. The brown looks really nice. I typically don't like brown interiors, but this is done well uh, right here. And also we have this interesting blue interior and then of course a black interior, but that's really all I have on the crown estate. Uh, more than likely coming to the United States, it is coming as a hybrid with probably around 236 horsepower, um, all wheel drive standard and, um, plug-in hybrid possibly to come in the future. If the RAV4 gets a plug-in hybrid. I mean, I think this would make sense here in our market. I know they don't bring the plug-in hybrid to the Venza in our market like they do here in Japan, 
but it would be great to have a, a different form factor um, with this you know plug-in hybrid more of a utility sort of vehicle as well but holy smokes guys make sure you're subscribed i'm going to be at the tokyo mobility show tomorrow to show you all the new concepts all the new vehicles as well as this crown lineup from toyota and all the japanese manufacturers i'll catch you in the next one if you made it this far I appreciate you hit the like button and have a great day